Mike, where are you? Mike, what are you doing? What the? What? Ah! People of Earth, welcome to Magic Carp and Chips. My name is Mike. I'm your friendly Canadian Pokemon guy, eh? And today, I'm very excited because I'm finally opening up some Sword and Shield booster packs. I mean, I've opened them up on my own, never on this channel. I've been opening up garbage Steam Siege. Why would I open up Steam Siege packs? Everyone hates Steam Siege. And if you're new to the collecting scene, or you're new to Pokemon cards, period, people hate Steam Siege. One, because nothing's worth very much. And two, it's just such a meh set. So, what am I doing finally? I'm opening up something that people care about right now. Oh, there's an idea to get views and subscribers. Anyway, today I've got a special treat. I have before me 20 Dollar Tree three packs of Sword and Shield. Sword and Shield just hit Dollar Tree, I believe recently. Um, and luckily all my local stores have them. Um, I went somewhere and they brought me out Cosmic Eclipse and I was a pain in the keister and I said, do you have Sword and Shield? And they said, yes, and they went to the back and they got me more. Because people steal them, stop stealing. So, what I thought I would do is 20 times three, 60 cards. Good math, Michael. Canadian school systems, stay in school. Uh, I figured I would open up 23 packs. We've got 60 cards here. And then next video, I'm gonna open up six regular packs. I know there's technically 11 cards per pack with the energy, but whatever. We'll call it 60 even. Let's not argue semantics here, okay? So, we're gonna see what kind of pulls we can get from actual booster packs versus the Dollar Tree booster packs. And of course, I have not weighed these because it's a horrible thing to do. Uh, one, I wasn't able to because I'm pretty sure that my Dollar Tree kept them in a safe. Two, you just shouldn't do that because then you're leaving nothing for anyone else. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. I'm super excited. I have not opened up any Sword and Shield um, three packs, period. The only ones I've opened up, um, which will be last week's video there, was the Unified Minds, which I'm super surprised what we got anyway. And I'm just happy we got a pull. If you want to watch that, it's in the eye above me. <laughs> Wherever it is. Let's get started. First things first, Lapras, beautiful. I love it. There's no code cards in these, I'm sorry. I do have a ton of code cards I'm not even using, so I might just, in a video one day, just yank those all out super quickly. And, uh, oh, there's not even, hmm, interesting. I was watching a different channel, Leonhart. Uh, if you like him, go go watch because he makes good stuff. Um, and they had red cards in them in the States, but up here in Canada, we don't get the red card. I know that the rare card, if there is one, we can't guarantee it. If there is a red card, or a, a rare card, it's going to be in the center. So I'm going to do one to the front, and we're just going to play it like like we're doing something fun. So, oh, there is something. Maybe it's just a reverse. Anyway, rare candy. Goldie. Hey, reverse hollow thwacky. I don't have one of those yet. Whatever, I'll take it. Next up, Samazenta. Every time I hear the name Zamazenta, it reminds me, for some reason, of that Michael Jackson song where they go, Mama say, Mama sa, Mama kusa. So I think Zamazenta. So if you're listening, if you're thinking about Michael Jackson after this video, now you know why. Zamazenta. Sea King. Hey, look at that. Evolutions pack. Beautiful. Clobopus. Poltegeist. Nothing. All right. Lapras once more. I was very happy that the... Uh, my lovely wife, I told her that uh, Dollar Tree had the three packs of, of uh, Sword and Shield, so she went to two Dollar Trees for me on the way home. I did not ask her to. I never asked. She just did it out of the goodness of her heart, because it's love, folks. And that's how you keep a marriage alive. You go to two Dollar Trees, and you buy Pokemon cards. I'm sorry. I'm slower than all the other guys. I haven't seen a lot of these cards before, because I'm new to collecting, and I've got a little channel, and a little budget. Hey, look at that! Shut up, Michael, and look at the cards. A hollow professor's research, Professor Magnolia. You saucy minx. Love it. Look at that. That's pretty good for Dollar Tree. I'll take it. Snorlax on the front there, eating the world. Doesn't this remind you of Katamari Damashi? Anyone? I'm sure it's been said a million times before. But I live under a rock. Okay? 
Um, if you're excited for the future of Pokemon cards, Rebel Clash is coming out soon. I plan on doing all the pre-orders for that and opening stuff people actually care about. Um, so I'm going to order myself a... Whoa, oh, bub kiss in that one. I'm going to order myself a Rebel Clash Elite Trainer Box. So look for that in the future. I'm going to get Rebel Clash uh, Booster Packs. I'm going to get the um, the Collector's Tin, the Spring Collect... Why? I'm so bad at opening packs. Goodness me. I'm getting the 2020 Spring Collector's Tin. Um, so if you're excited for that at all, stay tuned. If you'd hit subscribe, I would appreciate it. If you hit the... Oh, energy! If you hit the notification bell, I'd appreciate it even more. What did I do wrong here? I thought this was supposed to be in the middle. No, at the end. I did it right. Shut up, Michael. That's so pretty. Look at the jelly beans. Krabby and the jelly beans. As I was saying, if you feel like subscribing, I would appreciate it. I enjoy doing this. It's my little escape from the world. Um, if you like to escape, write to me and escape, then just hit subscribe. Or put a like down below so I can do the algorithm thing and be more successful than I am now. Uh, oh, there's something in this. Get ready. Please don't be a freaking Wobbuffet. Solazzle. Galarian Meowth. Underrated Galarian Pokemon. I love him. And Snorlax V! Woo! Oh my goodness. It's not a full art, but I'll take it. I've opened up fewer than half of these packs so far, and we've already got a Hollow Professor's Research and a Snorlax V. Come on! Dollar Tree coming through! Zamazenta once more. This is... I am excited, folks. This is my favorite video yet. Why? Because I'm getting pulls. Not that you shouldn't go watch the other videos to see my beautiful face. But, uh... I got a pull last video. It's good. Again, the eye. It's always watching. This is exciting. I'm, I'm pumped up now. Citrus Berry. Mm. Oh, uh, this is one of my favorite Pikachus ever at this point. Those greens are beautiful. Sinistee, less beautiful. And I apologize to folks if I happen to take a little bit longer on cards and stuff like that. I do this because I love the card art and I do it because I just genuinely, and I mean not that all the other guys aren't doing it because they genuinely love Pokemon. I'm not in it for getting the super, um, I mean obviously I want all the rares and the hyper rares and stuff like that. I'm not in for like the expense. I don't really care what the value of them are. I just, if they're beautiful, I want them. Um, they will be mine. My precious. All right. One to the front. This is getting exciting. Quillfish. Wooloo. I sound like Hank Hill. And a dang old reverse hollow sizzlepeed. Oh my god. All right. Lapras, once again. I never had so much fun opening three packs. I'm going to get these more often. You know why? They're $1.25 a piece in Canada. And you know why else? Little channel, say it with me, little budget. Uh, one to the front. And we'll go like this. Thwacky, non-reverse hollow this time. Kufant, this is my first ever Kufant. I haven't opened too many. I've been opening a lot of, uh, Masharna. I've been opening a lot of Unified Minds because I'm chasing that, uh, the double Raichu hyper rare. I just, I think it's a buddy cop movie waiting to happen. And I just, I want to see it so bad. And I think, I, I think I've explained it before. I think the original Raichu is like the hardened grizzled vet. And the Galarian, or the Alolan Raichu is like the happy-go-lucky partner. And there's going to be conflict, but they really love each other deep down. Oh, energy time. And I just think it's beautiful. Jelly bean Krabby. Minchino. Oh, the little Minchino. I'm assuming Chinchino and Minchino. Minchino? Minchino. Minchino and Chinchino. I'm assuming they are a, uh, how you say? Well, I've already shown you bloody Score Bunny, so let's just go through here and we'll just see what the middle card is. Score Bunny. Oh! Oh, I thought it was a hollow. He's not a hollow. He's not a hollow. Eldegoss. I apologize, by the way, if I am, uh, putting cards out of frame on this side of the screen over here. I have a bad, I, I'm kind of just figuring out where I want, new channel, I'm just figuring out where I want my uh, talking head to be the whole time, and I think it's up on the right, just to differentiate from the other guys who always do it on the left, I don't look like I'm copying them, because I'm worried about being ostracized from the community, so I am slowly but surely figuring out where I'm placing everything properly. Energy Retrieval, Roselia, Pharaoh Seed, we have cooled off like Winnipeg in May. That's right, I'm from Canada. I'm from one of the coldest places in Canada. You know we regularly brag in my city about being colder than Mars? That's our flex on the rest of the world. 
Oh, we were colder than Mars on New Year's Eve. How cool is that? It's frickin' not, bud. I'm gonna speak Canadianese sometimes, by the way. So, buddy, that's you guys. That's anybody. But it's how you say it. If you go, what the frick, bud? That means, like, come on, dude, you're an idiot. But if you're like, oh, buddy! Now you're talking. You gotta give her. Let's give her. Silicobra, crushing hammer. Not exactly giving her. Just a freaking uncommon. I really hope I didn't just... Oh, what is this malarkey? I hope I didn't blow... Oh, we're going from the bottom, kids. My apologies. I really hope I didn't blow all my luck on this first few packs there. Because that was like... That was before we even hit 10... Oh, there's something in this one. Let's do like this. Stunfisk. This Pikachu you've already seen. And... More Pekka V! I mean... It's worth $2, but it's still a V card. Let's look at the pulls so far, just because I'm very excited. Look at this. More Pekko V. We've got ourselves a Snorlax V, and then this lovely Hollow Professor's Research. I hope that this Hollow Professor's Research means that we have a Hyper Rare Professor's Research. In this set, of course, you want to pull the, the Golden Dog Boys. The Gordon Duggies, and then you want to pull uh, the Hyper Rare Marnie I hear is pretty good. Um, Bead's a Hyper Rare, but apparently people hate pulling him, I don't know. Uh, Air Balloon, this is one of my, f this is, this might be my favorite Ghastly card, period. I don't, it's so whimsical, and like, it, it's got Ghibli vibes to me. I don't know. Oh my god! It's a secret rare Air Balloon. <laughs> What? Dollar Tree? Dollar Tree? Look at it. Get out of town in 20, we're not even through. We have one, two, three, four, we have five, in 15 Dollar Tree packs, we have pulled this, ladies and gents, including a secret rare air balloon. It's not the best secret rare by any means. It is my first secret rare from Sword and Shield. Oh. Best video ever. Zamazenta. I'm jazzed as heck. And I hope you're jazzed too. And I hope you'll continue to join me. I told myself I'm not going to ask for subscribers every single minute. But again, if you're having fun like I am, and that's what this is about. I'm just going to, we're just going to have to do this this way this time. Um, Pokemon Catcher. If you're having fun, I'm glad. And if you want to keep having fun, I would appreciate your subscription. Just let me know I'm doing okay. If you want to make some comments and critique me, let me know. If you want to tell me you like me, it would boost my ego like you wouldn't believe. My therapist says I'm not supposed to minimize the positive anymore. Uh, if if you wanna if you wanna leave a dislike, do it. You're free to do so. Tell me why though. I would appreciate just like some constructive criticism. No cussing me out, hey? Eh? We're friends, hey? Eh? Sizzlipede. Almighty snow. Almighty snow. If only it was reverse hollow. You know that in some set coming up, Pokemon Company's been like, I don't, I don't know why, but they seem to really love their Snom. So we're going to make a Hyper Rare Snom. It's a matter of time. Mark my words. Hyper Rare Snom is on the way. I can't get over the freaking pulls, bud, today. This is, this might be my most successful opening ever period, bar none, like, even compared to, I am mangling these packs, boys and girls, and everybody else, whoever you are, and however you are, thank you for joining me, I apologize for my lack of attention, heat more, gosh, the floor, Goldine with the cold shoulder, look at that, Goldine, 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 two more packs left, they are both Lapras packs, I wish I was keeping track of where I've been getting these pulls from, but I've been talking my face off, and oh, look at this malark. This BS. Come on. See what you did there? You, what? I just dropped cars on the floor. People of Earth, this is, this is some business. I'm going to get into this pack come heck or high water. That's what they say. That's how we say it up in Canada. We don't say it with this accent normally. Oh my, am I going to have to do a please stand by Spongebob-esque three hours later? This is bananas. This is going to get edited out. No, you know what? I'm not editing it out. 
Look at me in the eye. We're not editing this out. There's a freaking secret rare in this, and I am destroying this package. I'm very upset. I will demand my money back from Dollar Tree. We're not editing this out. Look at me. We're in this together. Okay? Right here. Look away. Sound like Mark Wahlberg. What? No! Here we go. I did it. I did it. Thank you for staying with me. And if you didn't, well, you're not here to hear this right now. Double. My little bonita, looks just glorious. Oh, is it? No, it's not a hollow. I wish it was. All right, ladies and gents, one more time before we go, because I know you're going to click off as soon as I open that last pack. We have a secret rare air balloon. I could not be more jazzed. We have more Peko V, Snorlax V, and a hollow professor's research. You know what? Out of 20 packs, here's number 20. Today is an unmitigated success. I cannot believe the pulls. I don't know how six regular booster packs are going to top that. And I know you've seen Roselia already. I'm going to do this last pack of the video. Can we get that good ol', as they say on the tubes, last pack magic. Kingler, looking happy. He's done something. He pooped in your shoe. That's a poop in your shoe smile. Roselia, finally. Uh, reverse hollow crabby, that's okay. People of Earth, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you will like subscribe and shoot me a comment about packs you want to see if there are any upcoming uh, rebel clash products period that you want to see please let me know in the comments below i would be happy to oblige again little channel little budget we do this every thursday at 2 p.m eastern 1 p.m central 11 a.m pacific magic